having girl problems, trapped with annoying relatives over winter break, unable to live up to the high expectations of the ghost of your murdered father, actualize your antic disposition with Hamlet, emo prince of Denmark. This is a versatile look for sulking, skulking, wandering the castle, killing your girlfriend's dad, killing your girlfriend's brother, killing two of your friends by proxy, killing your stepfather, or just relaxing with the new Panic at the Disco album. Start off by waking up before dawn in an empty bed in yesterday's clothing with last night's tears and mascara still glazed on your face for a semi-smoky eye. Take a sip of black coffee because you're an intellectual and splash on cold water like what your girlfriend drowns in, then pat some cold cream cold as your mother's heart over any dry patches. You might be a lying punk, but at least your skin isn't flaky. On to makeup! No foundation or concealer because you want everyone to know exactly how tired you are. To complement the trappings and suits of woe, we're gonna go with a black eye look. You'll need liquid eyeliner, eyeshadow, mascara, and an eye pencil, all of it stolen from your mom, who pretends not to notice that her cool-toned makeup is missing. Begin by dabbing the black eyeshadow all over your lid and partially under the eye. The sparkles will really bring out your manic glint. Get a good, even coverage, like the dirt that they shovel over your girlfriend's coffin. Take the pencil eyeliner and outline your eyes like a sad raccoon and amplify it with the liquid eyeliner. And listen, we're all gonna die, it doesn't matter if your eyeliner is uneven. <laughs> I paint an inch thick, but to this favor we must come. Finish it with a couple thick coats of mascara, and to really complete the look, think about something sad, like uh, how Horatio was ready to kill himself when Hamlet was dying, but agreed to survive to tell the tale, cementing his position as a witness for the rest of his miserable life without his best friend, then cry and blend everything together with your wretched hands. By the time you're done, it should look like you've dug up a grave. You can also pat some of the tears onto your cheekbones for a subtle highlight. Now, your mouth is pretty chapped from talking too much and not kissing anyone, so to complete this countenance more in sorrow than in anger, one must choose a good lip balm, just as one must decide whether the ghost is angelic or demonic, whether he is truly King Hamlet the First or a devil sent to wreak havoc upon Elsinore, because, frankly, there's an awful lot of innocent blood splashed onto the royal court by the end of the play, even if Hamlet does fulfill his vengeance, so... Which is it, Prince? Is the ghost good or evil? Pale or red? Mint or rose? Ah! Whatever interpretation you go for, they both look great when you're choking on poisoned wine. Conclude the look with a fencing sword and a hat from whatever time period your director has placed you in, and you are dressed to kill. Or to procrastinate. Uh, again, this is not red wine that I'm drinking. This time it is uh, cranberry juice with some watermelon pop rocks thrown in. I hope I can get all of this off because I'm not gonna lie, it burned putting all of it on. I'm hoping that by portraying Hamlet, a boy, as using moisturizer, uh, that will encourage more boys to use lotion because um, some, of, some of you have the texture of wood chips and no one wants that. Now that's what I call grief.